up guys welcome to resource tv i'm your girl ada and this is Rain news okay guys let's get down to the gist for the day the first baby mama of whiskey oluwani shola ogudu seems to be tired of the way he has been shunning their son bolu atife hence shading him in a cryptic post shola ogudu took to twitter to share her thoughts a few days ago after whiskey was dragged for shunning his son bolu atife on his 10th birthday she tweeted, I believe I have done my possible best as a mom and a parent. The rest of the story is for my son to share. Some people did not agree with her post, but I guess she made the right decision by giving Bolo Atefe the mandate to decide whether to share the rest of the story of his relationship with his father. But let's check out the comments on this. At It's Ugo Chuku, exactly why I respect David Doe, he doesn't play with his kids. At I am Itohan P. I love whiskey though, but I don't want to believe him celebrating his son is part of being private. At Victor Pebo, this Shola babe likes drama too much, constantly setting whiskey up for steady drags. It's hardening his heart the more. At It is Shakiri's finest. Why does this Pascal lady always try to bring her issues to social media? She and Whiskey's mom was there, so what else is she looking for? If you guys can't co parent, do your best and leave the rest for God. Nobody cares, now update everybody one here, last last. Moving on, guys. Grammy Award winning artist Bonner Boy recently caused a buzz on social media following his remark about his nationality. The self-acclaimed African giant, whose recent Grammy wins earned him major applause from Nigerians, has stated that he is not a Nigerian artist. Bonaboy made this known in a response to a tweet at Daisy when he mentioned that Bonaboy go soon leave Twitter NG for Una. Bonaboy replied saying, Me we no even be Nigerian artist. Wow. <laughs> okay. Reacting to this bold statement, at I am Petu said, at I am Petu said, but you they promote African culture and you they deny your own motherland. All on a showbiz Abi. Bonaboy replied him saying, I am from here. I live here because I love my home and my people. In no past like that. I don't make money from Nigeria. Now only crews they here. Wow. Apparently, Bonaboy's reply did not sit well with some fans, which has triggered reactions from them. Let's check out a few of them. At Evelyn XX said, but if not for the same Nigerians, maybe you will still be doing video vixen for David Doe. Uh, uh. At I am Queenly, Bonner Boy, you are African giant, but please lower your pride. Now Grammy you win, you know be God. At Church Hill Jr., this is actually why lots of people didn't want him to win Grammy. His pride is too much and he talks anyhow. Maybe he sees himself as a god or something. Can never be my favorite. At Daniel Rega said, Bona, you said you don't make money from Nigeria. All the shows you perform in Nigeria, ain't you paid? Your Nigerian endorsements, are they free? The money you cash out when Nigerians stream your songs on YouTube and other streaming platforms on call, Nigeria helps you run your kilometers. Ten come. Okay, guys. Next on the news. A big congratulations to the 50 years old supermodel Naomi Campbell as she welcomes her first child, a baby girl, via her Instagram with a photo of a baby's feet in her hands with the caption, A beautiful little blessing has chosen me to be her mother. So honored to have this gentle soul in my life. There are no ways to describe the lifelong bond that I now share with you, my angel. There is no greater love. Although it is unclear who the father is and whether Campbell gave birth, hired a surrogate or adopted the little one. But some netizens have been sending out congratulatory messages to her and Whiskey. I really don't know why. <laughs> Let's check out a few of the comments. At Ozzy Omar, what I don't understand is why you people are congratulating Whiskey. Like seriously. At Fitness Farmer said, congratulations, this brought tears to my eyes. Wow, at 50, every woman deserves to be happy. If she was in Nigeria, the association of marriage by fire by first chapter will bombard her comment section ask for her husband and ask why she had the child outside marriage. Some people will be stuck in the past when the world is moving on. At Mila Phoenix, wow, congratulations to her. She had a legendary career. To her, it was finally time to have a baby. At Wendu Joe, at 50, Nigerian parents would think that you are cursed or barren. That's true, sure. Lastly on the news, still on the joys of motherhood, Nigerian award-winning artist and songwriter Simi shares her joys of motherhood. According to her, having a child made her more empathetic than she used to be. Check out the video. Having having a kid has really changed me. But raising a kid actually just gives you more empathy, makes you very empathetic because 
you you see you see how it goes you know i've been begging them in the house sometimes i've been yelling stop stop you know when you're outside you're like you know what you know so it's not really about you so now i'm i just have more empathy i guess oh that's so cute let's find out if people agree with her on this at Ami Blossom, the best thing that can happen to anyone is to bring another life into the world. As Kaima said, childbirth will change literally everything about you, both mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, even physically, so it's really a big deal. As Kafi Dadiva said, having a child will definitely change your life completely. Okay guys, that's it for the news today and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to catch up on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also please like, subscribe and turn on that bell so you can get updates on all our amazing content. Bye guys!